I'm Sandy Olowick, Habits and Accountability Coach. If you want to improve your life, one of the best things you can do is ask better questions, especially those questions you habitually ask yourself about yourself. Did those questions make you feel good about yourself in your life, or are they self-critical and make you feel bad? About 20 years ago, I was not in a great place, so I attended some Tony Robbins seminars. He talked a lot about asking better questions, especially those self-questions. He had us identify the one question in our life that we asked ourselves most often, and if it was disempowering, to change it so that it became empowering. This one exercise changed my life forever. Just knowing that I could stop asking this dumbass question that had ruled my life was in itself mind-blowing. And replacing that question with one that made me feel great, what a difference. As children, we're not equipped to judge the impact of our self-talk. We're pretty much just trying to feel loved, to feel worthy, and to find confirmation for what we believe about ourselves, good or bad. We ask ourselves crazy things like, what can I do to make people like me? Or what can I do to prove that I'm worthy? That was my husband's big question. Or why am I such a screw up? Or why is everyone else so much luckier, smarter, prettier than I am? A version of that was my big question. It obviously wasn't true, but in my head it was true. And can you imagine asking yourself a question like that dozens of times a day for decades? No wonder I didn't feel good about myself. So how do you ask a better self question? The easiest way is to find what I call the antidote question to your negative question that gives you the love or self-worth that you were looking for as a child, but in a much more positive way. My new positive question became, how can I give myself total love and unconditional acceptance even more abundantly now? This question completely became me and even now, 20 years later, it fills me with so much joy and love and gratitude because it freed me from the one major thing in my life that was making my life miserable and holding me back. For my husband, his new positive question became, how can I recognize that I'm worthy no matter what? He's still a striver, but he no longer has to prove his worth to anybody, including himself, which changed his entire attitude about his life. What is the one big question that you ask yourself over and over? Does it empower you or is it negative self-talk that no longer serves you? Take some time right now to think about this because I promise you that if you're still living with a persistent negative question, when you replace it with a positive antidote question, your life will never be the same.